This year's release of Android Q has been in beta for a few months now as Google has been testing various ideas and iterations of the operating system. Features have been added and removed, and the UI has been progressively refined. However, as we are on beta 5, we are seeing a near-finished version of the OS. Not much will change with beta 6, and the final public release will look and feel very similar. In this video, we'll be taking a look at this semi-final version of Android Q. As a side note, what do you think the release will be called? Some have speculated that this release will be named Quiche, Quindim, or Quinoa, but it's hard to say. Google is really going to have to dig deep with this name. True to fashion, Google has continued to play around with the navigation system. In this release, Google has dropped the back button in favor of a fully gestural system, not totally unlike WebOS's gestures, or more recently, iOS's. And I have to say, I'm a big fan of this change. The previous gestural system felt clunky and slow, simply being different for the sake of it. This new one feels fluid and fast, not getting in the way of the user. That said, most apps haven't been designed with this system in mind. The navigation drawer UI pattern comes to mind as it conflicts with the new back gesture. While there are kinks to work out, the new gesture navigation in Android Q is certainly a step in the right direction. Next up are notifications. The appearance has been tweaked a bit, and so has the overall presentation. Now, silent and audible notifications are separated. Additionally, the UI of managing notifications has been updated, allowing you to easily switch a notification from alerting to silent, as well as disabling notifications entirely. The fiddly snoozing of notifications has been disabled by default. If you'd like the ability to snooze notifications, you can re-enable it in settings. Bubbles have made an official appearance as Google has integrated them directly into the system. Active calls and message threads can be ever-present, floating above the screen content. It's nice to see Google adopting a feature that apps have essentially hacked together, making things simpler for developers and safer for users. This seems to be the year of the dark theme, with Android Q introducing a fully black, dark theme just as a certain other competitor launches the same feature. Being integrated into the system, apps will be able to support system-managed theme switching as well. In an ideal world, when you turn on dark mode for your phone, not only will system UI switch over, but so will your apps. Although less flashy, there are a few underlying system changes that are quite exciting. Project Mainline is Google's new attempt to update more phones more quickly without having to wait for OEMs and carriers. A lot more updates will be delivered via the Play Store instead of system updates, which is a welcome change. Additionally, Google has continued its push with privacy, surfacing a whole suite of controls inside of settings. Here, you'll have granular control over what apps have access to what data and sensors, as well as various other settings pertaining to privacy. There are, of course, many other changes that we won't mention in this video. Live captioning, support for 5G, advanced parental controls, focus mode, and undo app uninstall are just some of the all new or improved features in Android Q. Some of you might be wondering whether or not this version of Android Q is daily driver ready. At this point, after running the version for a few days on my Pixel 3a, I haven't run into any significant issues, if any. I'd say it's safe to install. Of course, this still is a beta, so keep that in mind if you plan to install it on your phone. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up as that helps a lot. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the Android Police channel. If you'd like to subscribe to my personal channel as well, feel free to click on my face here. My name is Jackson Hayes, and this is Android Police.